Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, beings and beasts from this and other universes, and you are watching WoW Films. Today, we're on the bi-weekly uh, uh, episode 15. The time of the Ardent Crusade is now. Enter Lich King. As you may have guessed, um, I was pulled into a semi-guild run yesterday of the Lich King, 10-man normal. Um, and so we gave him a try. Uh, by the way, do you like my impression of uh, Tyrion Forging? Comment. Um, I hope you did. Maybe it won't turn out so well on the microphone, though. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, just so you know, before you start watching this, I'm not just one of those noobs that has no gear, no knowledge of the tactics, no knowledge of any of the other bosses, and I was just pulled into a pug and now I'm fighting the Lich King. Um, I did actually do Ice Crown Citadel up to and including... Um, Valrithia Dreamwalker, um, which I thought was an incredibly fun fight um, beforehand, and then I skipped Sindragosa um, and joined another raid group after many, many, many failed attempts. And um, also, I did not just bubble there, look at my buffs, it was a priest um, powered shielding me at the same time as I cast Beacon of Light on the tank. Um, what do I think of the Lich King encounter? Well, I can't really say too much because. Um, I didn't actually get through the whole fight. Um, however, first phase, uh, relatively easy, at least on 10-man normal. Um, we had a rather good tank. Tank wasn't getting hit too hard. The main problem in this stage was uh, the adds. And also, may I just say that this was our first run, and um, that we did try many consecutive runs afterwards, but we failed. This is the furthest that we got him to 55%, which, I must say, for a first run is, you know, rather, rather respectable. Um, so we got him to, uh, to 55%. The main problem was the adds spawning and attacking the healer, and um, the tank, the off tanks, cooldown, taunt being on cooldown, and not being able to uh, come and help the healer. That was the main problem that we did have. Um, other than that, this phase went fairly smoothly. Um, it's a good fun fight, um, although, again, I can't really comment too much because uh, I didn't actually do the entire fight. So far, I do enjoy uh, Varathea more, but that might just be because it's more of a uh, healing orientated fight, if you know what I mean. Um, if you're watching the scene you don't know the tactics, basically the idea is that there's a big dragon starts at 50% health, and you've got to heal her up to 100% health. Um, so it's an extremely fun fight for healers. As you can see, um, someone's died. I believe that is our tank. Oh no, it's not a tank. Sorry. Very sorry about that. That's our DPS. Um, and so one of the DPS is dead. And here we go into phase two, or the second part of phase one. I've seen a couple of people call it different things. Um, the, I had a miscommunication in the tactics. I thought I was supposed to run into the middle there. Obviously not. Um, but no worries. I survived okay. And I only used my own mana to save myself. As you can see, I'm still very high on mana. Um, which is good. And this phase went relatively well also. Um, as you can see, we battle res the uh, DPS. Um, and... I've probably said this before, but um, I'd like to uh, reinforce the idea that for the first try, getting the Lich King to 55% on a pug is not bad at all. Not bad at all. And um, what's happened here is that our off tank, or main tank even, has died. Um, so we've got the adds left over from phase one, um, plus the raging spirits. So um, I told them to uh, kill the kill the ads in phase one before they went on to phase two, before they got the Lich King down to uh, seventy percent. But they seem to uh, beg to differ. Although I'm sure there's a reason for that. I'm sure they know what they're doing more than I do. Um, yeah, overall it's a really good fight. We had a slight problem with the uh, um, with the Valkyrie there. Dropping people off the edge, Valkyr, Valkyr, Valkyr. Um, but we also had a problem, as you can see, or as you will see here, 
um, with people being forced apart by these big void zones um, and being out of range of the healers, i.e. me. And there was also a holy priest, um, I think it was holy, I didn't have time to check specifically, and a resto druid. Um, another DPS is dead here. Um, yeah, that's all. Um, Tyrion forging still frozen. Um, although I've seen a video, see there's the really really big shadowy pool thing and look as you can see if you look at my uh, raid icons a lot of people are getting out of range here. I'm having and uh, obviously staying with the tank is the most important thing but I can't really get midway in between them because of the big void zone so um, yeah I really thought we were going to kill him actually considering we got him down to 55% on the first try. A uh, bit of a shame that we didn't however I still have a raid lock for 10 out of 12, so I'm going to try and uh, get some people from my guild and just do uh, Syndragosa and the Lich King. Um, I tried Syndragosa, and uh, we just had people that either killed the I, the Frost Tombs too quickly or not enough, and so we had people uh, exposed to the Ice Bombs or um, just dying plain from, uh, from um, Frost Tomb damage which was kind of annoying um, you've probably spotted several thousand mistakes already um, that I'm making if I'm sure a couple of them can be uh, countered like standing in the void zone I have actually realized that its um, effect is actually slightly bigger than its graphic image um, and that's in the transition to the second phase I was standing a bit too close but if you notice anything else for future attempts at the Lich King seeing as I have got a lock out of 10 out of 12 now um, if you could just post them in the comment would be very very helpful um, and will surely help me next time so now it's just me and another guy now it's just me killing the Lich King and as you can see he makes fairly short work of me well, I will record it, of course, if I come to uh, killing him again. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Post any comments in the comments section. It will be really, really helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.